Yeah, hi there, YouTube land people. So today I thought, well, you know, because my chicks are seven weeks old now and they've never had any kind of vaccination or dewormer or anything to help with parasites or bacteria or any of that kind of stuff, only their chick food, which is unmedicated. They've had uh, some of these soldier fly worms, which they love. They've had so far, like I've just started feeding them um, a little bit of meat like uh, a few days ago I gave them some uh, I had some leftover roast beef they loved it they went crazy for it and well I don't know I'm thinking now I probably should kind of think about deworming them um, actually the hen which is Lily the, the little chick I got again they're only they're only seven weeks old now but um the other day I was scratching around digging up some leaves and moving some logs and there was a garden snake um, little gray garden snake and yeah um, I'm kind of guilty I kind of helped her I I took it with the shovel, little shovel and I threw it out onto the lawn and she grabbed it and ate it so you never know um, that's a that's quite a big snake for a little baby chick to eat but I'm thinking now I need to do some kind of de-parasiting or something since they are eating meat and, you know, raw, you know, raw meat, which is the garden snake, of course. So I've been looking and looking for something natural, something really good. It's really expensive. Like I, I've been coming across this natural stuff and it's like almost $40, $30, $40 for some really good organic natural kind of dewormer stuff. But anyway, I also learned that um, coconut oil is also really good, um, you know, antibacteria type thing. And it helps, I guess, possibly with parasites. I don't know about that, but I, I can't hurt. I looked it up and yeah, it's good for chickens. So I did actually order some on Amazon better stuff than this. This is just regular organic coconut oil. But I ordered some MTC oil and I'm gonna take it myself. I used to take it a lot and I kind of quit for a while, but I think I'll start taking it again because it's been a while. And again, it's a really good anti-fungal, antibacterial type of thing for your body. So anyway, to get on with the video, I've never given them anything like this before and I don't suspect they would just eat it raw I can't you can't expect that but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these soldier fly worms which they love and I'm gonna put it in this little glass thing and mix it with some of the coconut oil and we're gonna go out there and you're gonna see and I'm gonna see for the very first time if they'll eat the worms okay if they don't there's something seriously wrong because they love these things and I'm not gonna put that much oil as you'll see in a minute. I'm not gonna put much at all. So I'm just gonna take a few out with this. And I give them these worms usually as treats when they do something good, like when I go into the pen to catch them, I give them a little bit after I catch them and put them in their outside pen because I still keep them inside during night nighttime. I just, I'm afraid to leave them out all night. But they stay in this box and I put that flap up at night so it's dark in there for them. That little uh, blue thing is a little piece of tarp. And I, I just use a clothespin and I close it. I pick it up from the ground and I pick it up and I pin it up there on top and they stay in there all night. Then I let it down, the tarp down at night, at the day, I mean the daytime and I turn the air purifier off in the morning. And I let them jump out on their own and they eat and I let them eat and I watch them eat and I observe them for about an hour in the, every morning. I just kind of watch to see how they're doing and they look healthy so far. They've not, not had anything wrong. Um, you know, I watch their poop and everything and I look at that and everything looks good. Um, the only thing I can say is last night I did wash their feet before I put them to bed. And I noticed this morning they were sneezing a little bit. Not too bad, but I think I should have probably dried their feet. I just rinsed their feet off and with warm water and I put them right to bed. I probably should have used a paper towel to dry their feet, but they're okay. They're not sick. They're just sneezing a little bit, which is sometimes normal, but there's really no dust in here because I keep the air purifier going at night. But anyway, not to get off topic, 
I just love my chickens. They're my pets. You know, I would never think about eating them, you know, just like no one else would think about eating their pets. You know, it's the same thing. We have a certain bond or connection, I would say, just like anyone else has with their pets. And I actually, I think my pet chickens are a hundred times better than any other pet out there, which most people consider as a pet. I do not consider cats or dogs as pets. I consider them as vermin. I consider dogs and cats as something that's unnatural for the ecosystem. Because for an example, just to give you a short example, in my yard right now, I have tons of lizards. Okay, that's, that's a healthy biosystem. I have, gar like I said, I have garden sinks. I have lizards. I have frogs. Do you honestly think anyone with a cat or a dog would have all this? No, they would not. So again, not to get off topic, and another one more thing, chicken poop is completely healthy for a garden. And I did do a chicken poop in a box garden and that those seeds are already sprouting compared to the other seeds I planted, which, which no, with no chicken poop, they're not sprouting yet. And I was also gonna include that in my video, but just to, just to prove my point, Chickens are extremely healthy for the environment, especially if you control them in the right way. But dogs and cats are extremely unhealthy for the environment, no matter how you try to control them. And actually, cat poop is extremely toxic and it causes all kinds of neurological brain damage in infants when the mother, and you can look this up, I'm not making this shit up, you can't make this shit up. And I think that actually cats should be illegal because of all the damage they cause in, in infants and all the d brain damage they cause in newborn babies. You can look that up yourself. It's called toxoplasmosis. It's a real thing. And maybe some, um, for some political reason, they might try to downplay it, but you can't downplay brain damage, okay? There's, why even take a, a chance if it's even a small chance? Again, cats are horrible creatures. They kill off all the bio, all the floor, healthy flora and fauna they kill off all the lizards all the snakes they kill everything they kill the birds they kill everything and they leave toxic shit everywhere it's fucking horrible anyway let's get on the topic i'm so tired of ranting about this shit but it's the truth oh that's right we're not supposed to talk about the truth whatever because of money yeah money 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 pet the pet industry is huge about money and I'm sure no matter how toxic cats are for the environment, they would never want that to be known ever because of all the money they make on their, all the products they sell. Anyway, here's the black soldier fly larvae. Here's the coconut oil. I'm going to take some. And also the other thing I love about chickens and hens is, is they give you eggs. So I'll take this little amount. And they're really, really fun to watch. They all have their very own personalities and they're just lovely animals. And even though, you know, they're domesticated as well, they're, they're not so domesticated. Like for example, you know, you can have wild jungle fowl and they do just fine. Like in Hawaii, there was a lot of wild chickens that did just fine. And they didn't go in my yard and kill my, my pet chickens, you know, but cats do. They didn't go in my yard and contaminate my garden with toxic shit, tox, toxic plasmosis, but cats do. You know what I mean? Chickens are harmless. So anyway, there, they're all coated nice and oily with a drop of coconut oil. There they go. Well, let's see if they eat them. And this is good to give. I've heard, I've read about once or twice a week. So I'm going to do this. And then when I get my MTC oil, probably tomorrow I'll get that. I might wait a day or two because, again, you can't overdo this. If you overdo it, then they could get diarrhea. Just like humans, if they overdo coconut oil, they'll get diarrhea. So I'm going to watch. I'm going to give them this and watch them tonight and tomorrow and when they're in their pen and make sure it all looks good. And if all, everything looks good, then I'll, I'll give them the MTC oil. And I expect it's the same. It'll be the same thing because it's just better. It's, a, it's oil, but it's just a higher quality of, of oil. It's got more healthy things in it. So let's go outside. Are you ready? And see if they gobble these down. 
uh, here's my shoes over here. I don't wear shoes in the house. Um, I put my garden shoes here by the door and I just wear socks around the house. I try to keep everything clean, even though my house is a mess. <laughs> it's still, I still do my best to, I wash my floors like every day. I mop, I mop my floors every day. I, I really do. I really try to keep my place clean. It's a lot of work, I'm constantly cleaning, even though it don't seem like it, I am. <laughs> Cut this gate and I'll just give you a quick look at the chicken poop in a box garden I have over here they're growing really fast oh wow that's great so as you can see I have the chicken poop in a box garden here and they're already sprouting and the very same day I also planted some in here nothing and I also planted some in here. Nothing. Only the one with the chicken poop is, is growing really well. So that's great. <sighs> Hello, my lovelies. Hello, babies. How are you doing today? Listen to the little songbird. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at you, Miss Do Mr. Doodles and little Miss Lily. You're so cute, babies. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they love them. They love them. Oh, yes, they love them. Oh, yes, it's good for you, baby. And they go down much easier, don't they? They don't get caught in your little throat like that when they're coated with oil. They go down very, very, very smoothly. Oh, they go down very smoothly. Oh, yes, babies, yes. Yeah, we'll take a little break. You love them. I think that's a really good idea because when you give them the worms when they have no oil on them, they kind of like, you could tell they're having kind of a hard time sometimes because they eat them so fast. Sometimes you can tell they kind of choke a little bit because they're they, when they're dry. But when you put oil on them, they slide down much easier. So, wow, they ate almost all of them. I didn't want to give them all at once. I want to wait and give them a little bit more later. Because you think about it, is that really natural for a chicken to eat like so many bugs in such a short amount of time? No, nor in na nature, naturally, they would peck around, scratch around and look around for bugs. They'd find a, here two, one or two or three here or there, whatever, and then it would be a little while before they find more. So, you know, it's probably better to give them, I'll give them the rest probably in a few hours or an hour or two and just, you know, make it like more of a natural type of deal for them so they don't have so much in their gizzard to digest that way anyway i hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it yeah i'm not just here for you to look at i try to be informative as well um i'm not that attractive to begin with so but if you think i am and you like what you see and you want to see all of me Join my OnlyFans. That's what it's there for. I got over, over 50 videos so far. And I probably will be doing more soon. So, yeah. Take care.